early morning foragers looking for anything to eat. But then... Yes, yeah, I'm French! See if you can get that front one, Bert! Later in the day, Lord Calvary forms up a defence line, ordering stakes to be placed out front. Stand who? Mark your target! Let loose! Keep your aim low. Hit them in the of the Morning mist has burnt off. Now, there is just a steady advancing enemy approaching the archers. Lord Hugh de la Zouch orders the archers to fall back and make room for the knights and men-at-arms to move forward to just behind the stakes, in preparation to meet the oncoming French. Alphonse de Brienne, the Count of Eu, orders the first French battle forward, whilst the cavalry and crossbowmen seek an opening on the flanks. Hand to hand, the close quarters of battle, the cut and the thrust and the fallen, the clash of steel and the screams of the wounded. As the skies darkened and rain began to fall, the English commanders knew that the potency of the dreaded English longbow could be adversely affected if the rain got any worse. The worsening weather made conditions underfoot increasingly difficult, turning melee into a heavily armed, muddy hell on earth. Swords felt more unwieldy and armour heavier in the rain-swamped melee, as men fought for their lives. The French crossbowmen leave the wood, supported by the Paris and other city militias, who were there to defend the missile troops from attack. On the other flank, French cavalry emerge, and prepare to advance in line, supported by the retainers in the second rank. The French commander, Bertrand de Guclin, looks on as the next battle formation prepares to advance. The French cavalry flank attack takes the English men-at-arms by surprise. Lord Calvary shouts, HOLD THE LINE! weather began to ease, bringing renewed hope to both combatants and commanders alike. 